welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Hey guys, welcome to Wally's Crib. You know what, by the way, I just want to apologize. I seem to have some problems with my system right now. The sound is not that good. I don't know what's going on. It's on and off, so I think I'm going to have to make a move, guys, because I think my cell phone's dying. So guys, that being said, I was reading comments today and I was... It was a subscriber that told me, uh, I, you know, I enjoyed the old era of Pink Floyd. I'm right in that era now, 68, 69, 70, 71. Now I get a song from a saucer full of secrets, guys, called Corporal Clegg. That was a song that I was asked to react to because, hey, the subscriber said, if you like those kind of songs, kind of, uh, not funny, but type of, uh, maybe I would say, uh, I don't know exactly the term, but uh, it's, it's some kind of music that, are, of course, it seems to be a tale of war again. And I know that they talk a lot about the war. So, but this one seems to be, if I'm not mistaken, I'll see and I'll know in a couple of minutes. But seems to be not a song that's very, very serious. So I don't know about this, if it's a funny song or just a, a, a song that's very, very serious about true facts from the war. I don't know, so I don't want to put some more. Guys, before I do this, if you're new to my channel or haven't reacted yet, if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, there you go. But uh, Take your time, Wally. I mean, it's, it's clear outside. Everything's fine. So if you haven't had time to subscribe yet, guys, and you want to do it, please hit that red button. Become a subscriber to Wally Scrib. You can leave a like at the end if you enjoyed my reaction. Press notification and comment, guys. Hey, I've said enough. I have a hard time expressing my, my words, so why not stop talking and just listen to the song? Hey, that's a great thing. So guys, let me just make sure that I got the sound. And let's do this now. Yeah. Now, guys, I don't want to be laughing about the fact that there's a guy that went to war and has a wooden leg now. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to receive some hate because of that. But the way he's singing it and the way that he won it in the war in 1944, I think it was meant to be funny. So you understand I'm not disrespecting no one, but his lyrics are funny. So let's continue this. tend to be funny right because that's what they are it's very funny now i love that era guys it's very psychedelic it's very trippy i love listening to this and i'm always thinking that uh, when they were in the studio recording that song i mean it was like okay to experiment musically so i think that was really cool they were trying all sorts of stuff out and you see that song cracks me up it's it's a lot of fun so far guys you must be proud of him This is Glenn Another drop of gin I know I'm cutting a lot, guys, but one thing I want to know, are they like, is that a way of them talking about the fact that they're against war? 
or is that for them just a way of making a funny song? I'd like to know what you think about that. Guys, that was trippy as hell. One thing for sure, that must be in the Sid Barrett era, right? Tell me I'm not wrong because every time I'm trying to point out Sid Barrett, I miss. So was it Sid Barrett singing, first of all? Second of all, did he, like, was he the one who just uh, wrote the lyrics on this song? Guys, it's pretty sure and pretty obvious to me that uh, it's intended to be a funny song. Now, I don't think that they would make fun of people who went to war. Maybe they could be against war and against uh, all the, the, the big corporate the interest in war and stuff, like I've heard some songs from them before, but I think this intend to be a funny song, and that's what it was to me, very trippy, very fun. So guys, I enjoyed this a lot. I love, like I said, experimental music from those days. It's always funny for me to see when there were they decided that they would make that kind of song. And you know what? I'm asking myself a question as well. Do you think that Pink Floyd would have been a very, very, very different band if Sid Barrett would have been there longer? I don't know what you think about this because I see it seems to be like two so different eras. So I, I can't wait to read what you guys will be saying, guys. So that's it. Hey, I want to wish you a great day. I want to thank you for taking your time to watch my video. I want to remind you to like, subscribe, press notification and comment. Hey, I want to wish you a great day and I hope to see you soon for some more Pink Floyd here on Wally Scrib.